Okay, what, what I want to illustrate now is doing a TPS sweep test using a multimeter. And one of the things that you need to do first will be identify which one your signal wire is. And it's really easy to do. Um, what I'm gonna illustrate, I'm gonna move a T-pin down each wire as I'm showing the voltmeter. So I'm just gonna zoom out to do that so you can see both at the same time. And what we're gonna do is identify the signal wire just simply by the voltmeter reading that we get. I'm still using the Varus because it's got a nice big screen. You can see the voltage. And just start down the line. You don't really need a wiring diagram. This is any three wire potentiometer. You do the same thing. You go down the line and you look at your voltage readings. You figure out which wire is what. This is the top wire. And the top wire I'm reading 0 0.04. Next thing you do, you move the throttle open and closed. What do you see? No change. That is going to be my sensor ground wire. That number should be less than 0.1 of a volt which would be 100 millivolts. That's reading 40 millivolts right now. Perfectly good ground on that sensor. We're doing ground to ground voltage drop. Key is on, circuits loaded, sensors plugged in. If that was a bad ground, we would read high voltage on this wire, like we did on the Audi that we did. Next wire, down the line. I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip to the bottom. I'm on the very bottom pin. 5.09. Next thing you do, move the throttle. Again, no change in voltage. Which wire is that? That's my 5 volt reference wire. That wasn't hard. Next thing you do, move the T-pin to the third wire. Of course, I already knew which one my signal was. Going into this, I'm reading 1.02. Typical TPS voltage at idle on any car usually around a volt, under a volt, somewhere in that range. Open and close the throttle. You see the changing, now I can move it like I was, you still see changes. That wouldn't be the right way to do a sweep test. We're using a multimeter. Multimeters don't have the same kind of refresh update rate as a scope does. What do you wanna do? Same thing as with the scan tool, do it slowly. Watch. What do we wanna see? All positive voltage changes. Not as good of a test, is it? Can it still be done? There's your wide open throttle number, 4.74. There's your idle number, 1.02. Where you wanna be concerned with TPSs is just off idle is where you're gonna see a glitch, so you wanna do it slow again. Watch for nice, even, steady increases only, increases only in voltage. That's how you do a sweep test with a digital multimeter. Okay, this is a TPS sweep test using a graphing multimeter or a scope. It would be very similar with this tool. This is a Snap-on Varus, which is basically the Vantage Pro program that we're looking at right here. It'd be the same thing, graphing multimeter, 300 microsecond glitch caps or capability. I'm not gonna miss a thing. I'm set up on a 5 volt screen. I'm set up on a 10 second time base with a 5 volt uh, range. And you can play around with these numbers. Here's your sweep. No need to do it slowly like we needed to do with scan tool, like we needed to do uh, with the digital multimeter. You can do this as fast as you want. Looking for a glitch or a dropout, you can do it slow if you want to. You can do it fast. I'm going to see every bit of a glitch or dropout in that signal. This is the preferred method for doing TPS glitch capture testing. I'm not going to miss it with this tool. Sweep test on a TPS using a graphing multimeter.